and welcome to another episode of Homework with Ms. Thomas. I am Ms. Thomas, and today we will be exploring Lesson 17 Homework for Module 4.3. In this lesson, the objective is to represent and solve division problems requiring decomposing a remainder in the tens. For number one, We are going to first represent this using the place value disk. Then we're going to relate that to the long division model, right? And then we will write our quotient, write our remainder, and check our work using multiplication and addition. So for number one, we have seven divided by two. In unit form, that is seven ones. So in the ones column, I'm writing seven. Now I'm dividing this seven into two. So I'm going to make two rows. Now I'm gonna start dividing. I'm gonna count by twos. And for every one, I'm putting one in each group. I'm gonna keep doing that until I've sorted as many groups of two as I can. So I had another group of two, another group of two. I cannot do that again because I only have one. So my quotient is three ones. So above that line for the long division, I'm gonna write three. I did three, two times. See, one, two. Three times two is six. When I subtract that from the total, I get one remaining. So the quotient is three, the remainder is one. I can check that by taking the quotient and multiplying it by the number I divide by, which is two. See, we did seven divided by two, so I'm gonna multiply by two. That equals six. I'm gonna add the remainder to get seven. So my answer is correct. How do I know? This is the total that I started with. So my answer's right. Let's move on to number two. 73 divided by two. I'm gonna start with modeling 73. If you notice, we just did seven divided by two. Now we're doing 7D divided by two. Seven tens divided by two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you notice, and then this is three ones. You notice we have one remaining when we did it before. So we're gonna have one remaining here. And we'll talk about what we do when we have that remainder. So let's go ahead and start in the tens, counting by two, putting one in each group, two, one, two, two, one, two. So now I have this one remaining, one ten, equals 10 ones. So I can rename this 110 as 10 ones. So I'm drawing an arrow from the 110 to the ones and I'm going to draw 10 in the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now I have the 10 ones and the three ones to make 13 ones. Let's relate that to long division. We got a quotient of three tens, right? So I'm writing that above the line. How many times did I do three? Two times. Oops, nope. Two times. Three times two is six. So I'm gonna write that product there. Seven minus six equals one. Bring down the three. And now I'm dividing 
13, right? Isn't that now 13? So let, let's now do that. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I get as many groups of two as I can. Adding one to each group each time. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So if you notice, I have one remaining. What is my quotient? It is six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six in each group. So above the line, I'm going to write six. How many times did I do six ones? Two times. Two times six is 12. 13, that's the total that I started with, remember? Minus 12, all the dots that we use that we put in groups of two, and I have one remaining. So my quotient is three tens and six ones. That's 36. My remainder is one. To check it, I'm gonna take that quotient of 36 and multiply it by the divisor, two, the number we divide it by. That gives me 12 regroup one, six, 72, plus my one remaining equals 73. Is my number correct? It sure is, because I got the same total. Let's move on to number three. Six divided by four. What is six divided by four in unit form? That would be six ones. I'm dividing that into four groups. I'm gonna have to add a group. All right, now, we're gonna count by fours. One, two, three, four. And I'm putting one in every group. I can't. So this time I have two remaining. And my quotient is one. So I'm gonna put one above the line. I did one four times. One times four is four. When I subtract that from the total, I get two. The quotient is one, the remainder is two. To check it, I'm gonna take the quotient, multiply it by the divisor of four, that equals four, plus the two remaining, gives me six. Is my answer correct? Why, yes it is. Let's move on to number four. 62 divided by four. 62 in unit form is six tens. Remember in the last one, we just did six ones. Now we're doing six tens. And we are dividing this into four groups. I'm gonna have to make these kind of narrow to get them all in there four rows. Now, we're gonna start in the tens. I'm gonna count by fours. I'm gonna put one in every row. I can't do that again. I have two remaining, so I'm gonna have to rename this. One ten equals 10 ones, so two tens equals 20 ones. So I'm going to add 20 dots here. So, and then let me draw arrows just so you can see. I'm renaming those two there. So what was my quotient for the 10? I got one 10. 
I did that four times. One times four is four. Six was my total. Minus the four that I used is two. Bring down the two. So now I'm dividing 22. Two tens, which is 20 ones, plus the two that we had first. So 22. Divided by four. So I'm going to count by fours. Again, one, two, three, four. 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 So, what is my quotient? Oh, I didn't write the quotient for the tens. That was one ten. For the ones, that's five ones. So I'm going to put that above the line. Five. Five. Four times, right? Five, 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 five. That equals 20. When I subtract that from the total 22, I have two remaining. So two is my remainder. And my quotient is 15. One ten and five one. I can check that by taking the 15 that I got from my quotient times what I divided by, which is 4. That is 20, regroup 2, 4, 5, 6. That's 60 plus my remainder of 2 gives me 62. My answer is correct. I started with 62. I got 62 when I checked it. It's correct. Number 5, 8 divided by 3. My total is eight. That is eight ones. I'm dividing that into three groups. I'm going to count by threes and put one in every group. I can do that again. I cannot do it again. I have two remaining. So my quotient is two. Two what? Two ones. Above the line, I'm going to put two. How many times did I do two ones? Three times. Two times three is six. When I subtract that from the total of eight, I get two. So my quotient is two, my remainder is two. I can check that by doing two times three. That's what I divided by. I divided by three, I'm gonna multiply by three. That equals six plus two, that's the remainder plus two, equals eight. My answer is correct. I'm getting, I got the same total. All right, for number six, we have 84. Just now we did eight ones, now we're doing eight tens. Let's model 84, that would be eight tens. And three, nope, and four ones. I'm making three equal rows. I'm going to start in the tens, counting by three, putting one in each group. I can do that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. I cannot do that again. So for my quotient for the tens, I got two. So above the line, I'm going to write two. 
How many times did I do two? Three times. What is two times three? Six. When I subtract that, I get two remaining. Now that two remaining, I have to rename. One ten is the same as ten ones. So for each of these one ten, I'm going to make ten ones. Ten in the ones place. To make a total of 20 ones plus the four ones that were already there. And that gives us 24 ones. When we bring down the four, we have 24. Two tens, four ones. 20 ten, 20 ones, four ones. 24 ones. Just wanted to make sure I had 20. All right, now, plus 4, 24. Divided by 3, I'm going to count by 3s. 1, 2, 3, and put 1 in each row. I can do that again. 4, 5, 6, and put an additional 1 in each row. I can do that again. 7, 8, 9, and put an additional 1 on each row. I can do that again. 10, 11, 12, and put an additional one on each row. I can do that again. 13, 14, 15, and put an additional one on each row. I can do that again. 16, 17, 18, and put one on each row. Notice we're counting by threes. 19, 20, 21, and put an additional one on each row. 22, 23, 24, and put an additional one on each row. So how many are there? That is eight ones. So I'm going to put an eight above the line. How many times did we do eight? Three times. Three times eight is 24. And I subtract that from the total. I have zero, which makes sense because I don't have any dots left over. I used all the dots. So the quotient is 28. Two tens and eight ones is 28. The remainder is zero. I can check that by doing 28 times three. Eight times three is 24. Regroup two. Two times six is, two times three is six plus two is eight. I had no remaining, so I add zero. And I get 84. Is my answer correct? Yes, it is. How do I know? I got the same as my total. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, please keep learning. And I will see you soon. Ta-ta.